Greetings, Migos of the Mechanicus. It has been made known that the nature of my creation is to be shared among your kin. I bring to you a transmission dictating the details of my construction. Take it so that you may better know my nature and that more like me may continue to serve beyond death. Glory to the Emperor. to happen. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so apologies for that. I created a Dreadnought voice preset on Premiere just to have a bit of fun with at the intro of the video. So if you want to see any more or if you want to hear anything said in a Dreadnought voice, comment it down below and I will say it in another video. But today we are going to look at the Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought. Get it built or most of it built and we'll see what it's starting to look like in comparison to other stuff. So just gonna do a quick sort of run through the initial construction today of the legs and the body and then we'll see what sort of comes next and hopefully get it primed and the arms built next time. So stick around, uh, just see what things look like whenever they're finished up because I'm quite excited for this. I love dreadnoughts and I love big robot stuff so this is gonna be a cool one for me. So yeah, let's see what it looks like when we put it together. So there it is, all of the, the whole thing. Just like three little sprue sheets, instructions, transfers. It's nice to look at, first of all, but um, for those of you who don't own one of these, I just want to put something in context for you. I have big hands, okay? This is a normal, uh, venerable dreadnought. This is my hand, quite big. But it's you know next to a normal mini, or to normal mini, venerable dreadnought, redemptor base, right? This is what I'm so excited about. This is going to be a big mini. This is going to be quite a big model. So I'm gonna jump in and start working on sticking all the parts for the torso, and we'll see if it really does look big when we get it put together.
yeah, so overall, got some pretty cool stuff out of that. The other day I bought a modeling handle from Games Workshop. Went to the shop in Belfast for the first time. This is going to be quite good for spray painting. I can kind of hold it out and not sort of cover my hands like I normally do. So this, I like this, but it's cool to have all those little parts. It's nice to have them filed, have them all sort of sitting along there, have it kind of looking good and ready to go. And then aside from that, just the same as I mentioned, having this sitting ready compared to the, the dreadnought I already have. This is quite an exciting project to sort of look ahead to. I love the fact that this is so much bigger. Um, I love dreadnoughts and the bigger the robot for me, the cooler it is. So I'm really, really excited about the rest of this project. If you have any suggestions for colors, do let me know because so far in line with my other stuff that I've been doing, I'm going to be painting it as a salamander's dreadnought. But if you think something else would look cooler, then let me know. Um, Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me, same as always, and be sure to stick around if you want to see more stuff like this, or if you want to finish the series, be sure to check out my other series as well. But otherwise, yeah, same as always, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do, chat to me, check out my other stuff, and I will see you next time.